So when we have a traditional holiday coming up, like Valentine's Day, mm. it always includes making something sweet with Kalo corn syrup to give it to our family members. It's a great way to share something sweet with someone on a holiday. Mm -hmm. It's a pantry ingredient that can provide some sweetness and moisture to any cooked sweets. Since I'm on the go a lot uh, these days, well, pretty much all the time, to be honest. Yes, and I am blessed most days to be at home with our children. We've decided to bake a few batches of something sweet for our family and our moms and dads also. And who doesn't want to be surprised with some luscious sweet treats? I know mm. I do. Now, last Thanksgiving, we made a few really cool sweet pecan pies for everyone. Everybody does that, right? k recipe is just the thing for making a sweet pecan pie. So right here in our cozy little home, the two of us are going to make a super sweet treat, a fast and fabulous dark chocolate fudge mm. for another traditional holiday. Valentine's, Valentine's Day! Day. <laughs> Every slice almost melts in your mouth. It is so good. All you have to do is you take the caro corn syrup, just put it in the bowl. Mm -hmm. And then you get this. And then you take the evaporated milk. Right. Mm -hmm. and pour you it pour in. Pour that in there. Okay. Then you just stir it together a little bit. Stir it till it's well blended. There you go. Once it's well blended, you put it in the microwave on high for three minutes. There you go. Now that it is hot, we are going to pour in the chocolate chips. Yes, that's the best. Get yes. in there. We'll do a little bit okay. at a time because they're melting. Well, now we got to get them in there. That's good. That's good. Don't get crazy. Well, no, this is the... Uh, oh, the whole amount? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're getting aggressive with it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness Ooh, up that in smells there. good. So you keep stirring until it melts. Yeah, you keep stirring until it melts. Oh, and it's melting quick right there. Then we stir in some powdered sugar and vanilla extract. There we go. I'll get the vanilla extract. Yeah, why don't you do something? <laughs> I'm like the shoe, the, the stew <laughs> chef. Okay, there's your vanilla okay. extract. Okay. Get in there. And then, God, it just looks so pretty. I know. Reminds me of snow. Get in there. You gotta get in there sometimes. Get that big piece of powdered sugar. You can't I, leave that powdered no, sugar out. No, I'm not out. leaving it like that. Oh, look it. Sometimes I like to just. Eat that on my own. Oh, this is, hmm. This smells, smells next so good, huh? Okay, so now we're gonna pour it in. Make sure it gets in here. Cover the whole pan. You have to be disciplined wow. to not get in there. With your fingers. With your fingers and then start. Or if your partner looks away, then you can. You mess up the whole deal. There's discipline required. That's good. That's good. Okay, well. That's good. Oh, you don't want to leave. Okay. And okay, then we flatten it out. Yeah, flatten it out right here. Look at you stealing that off. I mean, I'm like... Just grabbing it out of my hand. I'm like a professional over here. Tradition, as always, it's important to us and our family. What better tradition than to start giving homemade delicious sweets to our family members for Valentine's Day? It's just a few days away, and you know it's coming from the heart, so people are going to like it. Very true. Or you can give it any time or any holiday. That's right. Right? Doesn't have to be like March 4th. Yep. Get in there. Give me some food. So you get in here. <laughs> look at that. Ooh. Sprinkle some flake salt. Bam. Ready to go. Let it chill for two hours. Cut it into the cubes, and voila. The finished product. What do you think, babe? Do we have a new Valentine's Day tradition Ooh, or what? Yes, I think just an everyday tradition.